rabies vaccine india is endemic for rabies and it accounts for 50% of the global deaths the nerve tissue vaccines are not uh, recommended due to their side effects and lesser potency and we have tissue cell culture vaccines for example the purified embryo uh, purified chick embryo cell vaccine purified duck embryo vaccine we have a uh, human deployed cell uh, vaccine and purified viro cell uh, vaccine and these vaccines are comparable in efficacy uh, for rabies we have post exposure prophylaxis and we have pre exposure prophylaxis in post exposure prophylaxis we divide the animal bite into three categories Cat category 1 where the animal touches or uh, animal licks over the intact skin then category 2 where multiple abrasions or scratches are present without bleed or where the animal licks over the broken skin then the category 3 where the single or multiple transdermal bites are there or abrasions with bleed are there or when the mucosal membranes get contaminated with the saliva of the uh, animal therefore in category 1 and 2 we uh, uh, in category 1 and 2 we provide wound management to the patient uh, wound management uh, includes thoroughly washing of the wound under the running water for at least 10 minutes then we clean the wound with soap and water then we apply uh, either tincture of iodine povidine iodine or 70% alcohol over the wound we provide tetanus toxoid to the patient we provide antibiotics to the patient and we give uh, immunization to the patient uh, the, for immunization we have different regimes for intramuscular uh, regime for intramuscular uh, vaccination we have essen regime we have zareb regime and we have intradermal regime. teams also in sn regime we give five doses uh, of 0.5 to 1 ml at day 0 day 3 day 7 uh, day 14 and day 28 and uh, in zareb regime uh, we provide two doses at day 0 two doses at day 7 and two doses at day 21 and in intradermal regime we provide two doses at day 0 two doses at day 3 then two doses at day 7 and two doses at day 28 to the patient then uh, in category 3 we provide uh, active as well as uh, passive vaccination to the patient in uh, passive vaccination we have immunoglobulins which can be equine immunoglobulins or human immunoglobulins the dose of Uh, human immunoglobulins is 20 units per kg and the maximum is up to 1500 units and the dose of equine immunoglobulins is 40 units per kg and the maximum is 3000 units and the currently available equine immunoglobulins are potent and uh, they are overall safe but adverse reactions are there uh, which require prior skin testing the human immunoglobulins are expensive and they are uh, readily uh, they are not easily available and then we have pre exposure prophylaxis which is given to the uh, individual who are at higher risk for rabies uh, for example to veterinarians Uh, the laboratory staff handling the virus or infected materials then the care providers to the patients with the rabies and animal handlers etc and here we give uh, intramuscular uh, vaccine on day 0 day 7 day 21 or day 20, 28 and the booster dose is given after one year and thereafter every 5 years